Today the primary school students dressed up as their favourite animal to raise money for our local RSPCA shelter. We were even lucky enough to have some very special visitors. I'm Shri Dewey, I'm Gladstone's Regional Inspector for RSPCA. Uh, so I'm an inspector who goes out into the community, so we follow any concerns that might come in through RSPCA, so it might be an email to us or a call in. Um, we'll go out and attend a job and just check on those concerns and see if, if there's an animal that actually needs some help. There's quite often we'll go and it'll be food, water, shelter and just making sure that someone's actually there with the animals. So some animals may have, their owners might go away on holidays so a lot of neighbours get quite concerned that maybe someone's not attending. So we'll go and check that and if we find that they need some food then we'll actually leave food and fix the water and check on their welfare there as well. Okay, so RSPCA is a society who's looking after the welfare of animals. Um, we've got, uh, I think we've got around 21 inspectors in Queensland alone. So our Wakehole Centre uh, in Brisbane area is a massive shelter where there's a lot of training goes on. The regional inspectors are usually given quite an uh, expansive area that they'll actually go out and attend. So RSPCA's main role there is, is the welfare of animals. So giving them a voice, not only the voice, but actually attending physically and, and being there when they actually need some help. So um, the education that's coming through, so through to society, and especially with our kids, like ha having the ability to come to Rockhampton Girls Grammar today is amazing. To see the girls in their costumes and having that uh, Enlightenment, uh, enlightenment opportunity there to educate them in the care of animals. So we do have a duty under our laws to actually look after our animals in an appropriate way as well. So the inspector's role is there to make sure that those duties are actually being ensured for the animals. Ah, well I've brought two of our adoption kittens along. They're both stunning. They're both ready for adoption now, so we make sure that their backs are done, their worming's up to date, and they, these guys are both neutered, so the vets are already seeing that they can't go out into the community and make any more kittens, so they become just a family pet. So both of these boys may end up finding one of the families here today. If they're lucky, they might go into the adoption centre and, and actually adopt them in the next week. That'd be super. So today, talking to the girls, I'd love to hear what animals they have and what they might know about the care of their animals and what their duty is there. And, and just seeing that that education is coming through where they actually know that the animals are there, their job, they're, they're able to care.